Beijing's Forbidden City was off limits to most but the select few who lived in the capital in period China. Today, even though the Forbidden City welcomes millions of visitors with open gates from around the world each year, many of us still cannot fully appreciate the numerous halls and palaces, let alone the treasures inside. Simply walking through the Palace Museum can be a day tour. But that's about to change as China's Tencent, the technology company known for its online gaming and WeChat, is joining hands with the Palace Museum at an international technology forum in Shenzhen soon. Many of the exhibits and relics will be in high definition and at the click of a mouse. Xu Hua tells us more. This is an exhibition that gives visitors here access to more than 600 cultural relics from the Palace Museum, nearly 2,000 kilometers away in Beijing. How did they do that? Let's find out. The Palace Museum and Tencent are working together to turn non-renewable cultural treasures to ones that are renewable. They jointly launched a digital exhibition in Shenzhen featuring different pattern designs in Asian buildings and collections with the help of immersive rendering and panoramic sound technology. The three-day exhibition has attracted more than 50 experts and scholars from around the world to discuss ways to promote innovation of new technologies in a digital museum. We have a virtual exhibition of cultural relics using digital technology to break through limitations. For example, we showed the design of some cultural relics from the Palace Museum on a 3D screen with a height of 8 meters, which is magnified 22 times the original size. People can see the details and workmanship, which could not be seen on site, and uncover more hidden beauty in these cultural relics. This hall is called Juan Qin Zhai. It was built by Qing Dynasty Emperor Qianlong as a retirement retreat in the Forbidden City. Visitors can be transported back in time. The building was burned down in 1923 by eunuchs who wanted to hide evidence of stolen jewelry from Puyi, the last emperor of China. Thanks to digital technology, Juan Qinjia has been effectively restored to its former glory. Two years ago, a massive fire at the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris devastated a large part of the 850-year-old church. Fortunately, with the help of data, photos and technology, the tech company has quickly brought Notre Dame Cathedral back to life as the real-time reconstruction continues. The incident is a reminder about potential risks of architecture's built of wood, including China's Palace Museum, which is home to countless pieces of art. We publish a general catalog of the 1.86 million cultural relics on the Internet several years ago. We hope that all of the information from the Palace Museum can be published online in the future, making it even more appealing than what you can see at the real Palace Museum. As the world copes with the COVID-19 pandemic, the director of the Palace Museum is calling for a new look at the mission of museums and bring vitality to cultural heritage. The journey of this exploration has come to an end. But the journey to understand Chinese civilization by making it more accessible to diverse audiences has just begun. Xu Hua, CGTN, Shenzhen, Guangdong Province.